pump this shit like cardio What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how I created some of these transitions and effects in this edit. So first up we have this trainer floating in and then transitioning into the next shot. For this one, first I needed to create like a 3D model of the trainer. And a really easy way to do this is to film it. So all I did was filmed the trainer on a little turntable. So first of all, we need to remove the background. And to do that, let's select the video clip and go to the one tool here and go to add magnetic mask. Now we can click on the trainer here and hold down option to get rid of any parts you don't want. Now let's go up here and click analyze. Now it's going to track that mask throughout the video. Now the mask is tracked. Let's go up here and click done. Now we're just left with this spinning image of the trainer up here. I'm just going to turn down the feather because I'm going to retime this. Let's go to the speed wheel here, go to video quality and click optical flow. Now let's right click and turn this into a compound clip so that we can lock in that mask effect. Next, I'm going to retime this video clip so that it adds a bit of a spin at the start. So around about here, let's add a speed ramp, hold down shift and press B. And then another speed ramp here. And if I click and drag this back here, I can speed up the beginning of the video clip and also speed up the end slightly. So now it will spin on like that. Now let's drag this video clip over the two video clips that I want to transition between and the colors look really off. So what we can do is go up to modify and go to match color and just select the video clip underneath and then click apply match. That will kind of fix the colors. Now I need to keyframe this trainer to create the transition. So if we select it, go to the transform tool here and add a keyframe. And I want it to come up from behind the subject. So I'm just going to make it small, small like that. And then in the middle, I'm going to drag it up and make it big. And then at the end, I'm going to line it up with the shoe on the second shot to create this transition. So now we have it animating onto the screen and then flying down into position to transition into the next video clip. The animation isn't that smooth. Instead of messing with the keyframes, what I like to do is right click, add it into a compound clip and then retime it once more. So if I hold down shift and press B here and also here, I'm going to slow down this middle bit and just speed up the beginning and the end. I find that this just gives it a bit of a better look than adding the keyframes. Now, once we have that, I can copy and paste my video clip at the bottom here and drag it above the trainer layer, cut the second half and go to the magnetic mask effect and add that to the top layer and then click on the subject to create another layer. Then let's click analyze, click done. Now the trainer will kind of pop up from behind the subject. Finally, I'm going to add some effects to this trainer. I added this hologram effect. Then also I added this energy mask low effect and then also a light ray effect. Finally, I added the hover effect from the animations effects pack, which gives it like a floating effect. These effects don't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave a link to them down in the description. All of these effects are optional. There are some alternative effects that you can use that are built into Final Cut Pro. These are just presets I built up over the years. So if you do buy any of those, then thank you so much for the support and it really keeps these tutorials coming out. On this second shot, I also added a shake effect. And to do that, I added in an adjustment layer over the top of the video clip. And then I use the flash hit shake effect from the shake effects pack. And in the settings over here, I just turned up the vertical bounce cycles. And then I also added a zoom out from the trainer at the beginning, just to finish off this transition. Next, we have another trainer transition using just a different model that I recorded. For this one, I've already keyframed and removed the background on it. So let's drag that over the video clip and then let's drag my second video clip in. And for this one, all I did was add a transition between the two video clips. So in the background, there's some sort of animation happening and you can use pretty much any transition for this. The one I chose was this VHS transition. So if I select my video clip and double click on the transition, 
that will add it to the video. Now I just need to extend the transition and line it up with the 3D model that I made. I'm also going to copy and paste a shake effect that I created in the first transition and just drag that over to add a bit of impact to this transition. And then I added a few effects to the trainer. For this one, I added this high pass effect from the effects expansion pack and then just keyframed the mix on this so that it blends from the normal trainer to this kind of like high contrast animation effect. And then if we copy and paste this, I also added a light wipe effect onto this top layer. So now we have this cool trainer transition and I really like the way this one turned out. I think it's a really cool transition. For the next transition, we have this mask transition, which then zooms through the legs to the next video clip. So on this video clip here, right before the gap between the legs, I'm going to cut the video clip here. And then on this second portion, let's go to the one tool here and add the magnetic mask effect and just select the part in between the legs here and then hold down option and click the parts that we don't want to mask out. And then if we go to the brush tool here, we can kind of create a smooth line at the bottom and just fine tune this mask. Instead of clicking analyze, I'm going to use this button here to go through the frames separately, just to make sure this mask is staying in the right place. If it's not in the right place, then I can just make some adjustments with the brush tool and then go back through the rest of the frames. Now that mask is done, let's click done up here. We need to invert the mask. So up here on the parameters, let's go to this mask icon here and just click invert masks. So now we get this kind of like black area, which we can now zoom through to create a transition. So let's select the video clip, go to the crop tool over here and then click Ken Burns. Then let's make this end box nice and small and put it inside the mask we just made and then right click and make sure ease out is selected. Now we can drag our second video clip underneath this video clip. Now that will transition through the legs onto this next video clip. To finish this transition off, I dragged on a light wipe effect onto the glasses here and then track the mask to the glasses. And yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. In the next video, I'm going through even more of the transitions and effects from that edit. So subscribe if you want to see that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.